Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Shogi Wars. Um, what do I feel like playing today? It's been a while since I've played Third File Rook. Maybe we give it another go? With an open mind? <laughs> and perhaps I will remember some of the theory. I have been watching videos. Good luck. I have been watching videos on YouTube um, by players I don't know the names of. But um, these are starting to resurface memories about valid ways to play openings. And certainly I can't credit my mistakes to them. Um, but if I do something right, I want to do, I want to do the right thing and try to credit them for things I do well. Um, okay, well, that's right fourth file rook right there. Not the way I typically experience it. Um... Interesting. So that's what this custom style refers to. Okay, I'm gonna protect my king. And hopefully not mess this up so badly. Um, if I move the gold general, how much trouble am I in? I think this is okay. I think I'm alive. I hope I'm alive. What's the trick here? Is there some trick to this? Hmm. I was going to go forward, but that leads to problems. So let's just retreat. Mm-hmm. Well, we can't retreat indefinitely, so let's do something. Mm -hmm. Normally, I would want to aim toward the king in the castle. Um, but that doesn't look super easy to do here. Wait, what's this? There's multiple things odd about that move. Um, I guess let's start with the basics and say that the rook is exposed. Um... Hmm. So I guess technically I'm attacking a pawn, which is now defended. Mm hmm. Nana fun. They could have just promoted this pawn instead of advancing it like they did. I'm convinced it was an input error. Um, oh, hang on. 
Yeah, whatever. This looks fun. So I have two pieces attacking this point. Uh, so I should just make take full advantage of the input error. Is there anything else I could throw in before? No. Um, yeah, this opponent had a really cool concept. It just, they made an input error here uh, in their haste to, like, push me over on the clock or something. So, it's a good castle, as far as I can tell. This is a nice attack. Um, we've seen better, we've seen worse. Mm hmm. Hmm, what to do? That's a fork if I let it happen, so I have to protect this fork. Um, which is kind of sad. So I'm threatening to push and then take a gold. Uh, I just realized they do have a bishop in hand, so if I give them opportunity to drop a lance and then drop a bishop, that's not good. Um, thankfully, I have <laughs> a lot of pieces defending at the moment. Um, but attack is the best defense, so we just launch the rook in the middle of the this mess and hope it works out. Um, they do have a knight in hand. That's pretty spooky. That's super spooky. Schnikes. Uh... Oof. I don't know what to do about that. The knight in hand is pretty serious. Gofun. Okay, I can bring back my horse to defend my castle. This is what I'm going to have to do. Sometimes defense is the best defense. But yeah. If they take this silver, maybe I just push and forget about all this. Okay. That doesn't look right. So I defend against the knight drop and line up everything perfectly. And then attack. Because I have not a care in the world at this point, I guess. The hell? Yeah, so that's legal. Um,
This is sad. Uh, right, so I can't take that. Um, or can I? I'll need pieces to attack with, so let's take it. So this is going to have to be the weak spot. Um, I'm so confused. Oh, okay. They're trying to be cheeky. Um, we'll just play defense. With a proverb on the screen that says attack is the best defense. I will do the very opposite of attacking. So they could sack for the silver, and then sack this pawn here, and then sack the dragon there, and then check me with the knight. That might happen. I don't know what I do to stop it. Other than maybe I just don't take the bishop. Until the knight's gone. Yeah, they're super gung-ho on this knight check. Attempting to checkmate me concept. Incredible. Alright. Wait, that's committal. Everything's committal, but that especially. Um, okay, we'll remove the knight. Um, that's disgusting. Okay, pretend this is fine. This is fine. Nifun Sanjibio. Nothing to worry about, nothing to see here. Um How in the hell do I save this? I guess we finally apply the proverb. Attack is the best defense. Well, we lost our proverb due to a communication, um, Interruption there. Oh, they could take this now. Earlier, taking this would have been fatal? No, not quite. But here, I'd be... That's not the move I'd play. Um... Okay, show me what's up here. What have I missed?
1分I could have taken that. Perhaps should have taken that. I'm being a bit of a coward at the moment. But I think it's okay. Uh... Yeah, this was my idea. Oh. Wait, no, I do live. Even if they drop a gold here, I'm still alive. I miscalculated. That's no good. Jubio. One down, two to go. Good luck. Yeah, no kidding. I was not expecting that. Uh, yeah, something happened there. Hang on. Hang the heck on. Look at this. It's a pit! That silver is pit. I'm so proud. Um, are they going to move it? Um, it's still pinned to the bishop. I've tried this before. It doesn't work. Unless I'm just missing something. And even if I am, all that happens is I lose some material. Like, I've tried this. It's kind of bonkers. Let's drop the rook back, just in case. Yeah, okay, they barely cover their weakness. I'm gonna push anyway. Let's go. Okay, if I got another pawn in hand, I'd push it on the center file. 
At the moment, I'm Fujire for no reason, because I just don't know my openings. Um, that's fine. Each time they do that, they lose a the tempo. Because they have to drop a pawn, move the silver forward, and back. So, it's probably not best to lose Tempe like that. Are we pushing this again? Like, what's defending the king? Hmm. Man, it's so hard to resist just sacking the house here. Okay, I actually do need to play a somewhat reasonable move before I do something crazy. Um... I forgot they can promote. Whatever. Nanafun. Whatever. We'll just let everything burn. I don't care anymore. Silver takes. They didn't play silver takes. Go ahead. Take my gold. See if I notice. Okay, they care about what I'm doing. They actually do care. Um. It's a pity I blocked my bishop. Should not have blocked my bishop like this.
The spawn is hanging. Oh, they defend it. I forgot how pieces promote. Cool. Um, I'll just use my bishop then. They're not letting me break this pin on my knight, so I'm just going to activate the bishop some other way. I can still drop here. Oh, wow. Um, not sure what that does. It defends this, but... Interesting. Okay, well, we're just going to keep attacking then. Gofun. Forward, forward, ever forward. Um, but yeah, that is a fork. They might eventually try to collect my rook, because I'm just being annoying. Um, and I don't know what I could do, like, other than... Oh. Huh. Well, look at that. My anti-spam protections did something. Whether or not they should have. Um... Okay. I mean, that looks scary. I'm just going to take this, because I don't see the problem. This is hanging here. And currently the opponent does not have a bishop in hand. So I can do some wilder attacking moves. Um... begging the obvious question um are they going to take it are they going to sack here to draw my king into some kind of situation are they going to sack over there instead and if they do what protects this nothing okay i think i'm fine um It's a crazy position, but I think I'm okay. <laughs> Protecting my king may be challenging. Um... Sampun. 
Well, this is getting dicey. I think this is okay. Hopefully this is fine. I should stop and think a bit more, but I'm too amused. This is too entertaining to just play the moves and see what happens. Nifun. Hmm, tricky questions. So many tricky questions. That's unfortunate. Thirty Game. Two down, one to go. Oh man. All right. Good luck.
They might stop me from attacking down the center file, but there are other files on this board. Um, usually you keep the horse in your own camp, but here we'll make an exception. This attack looks too interesting. Just on account of this being scattered. Uh, also, I could push pawn 5, 6, and then knight takes and then take the rook. So, and that extends the range of my rook, too. I'm expecting them to drop a bishop on this diagonal, and I was thinking maybe I want a rook. Or maybe I take the bishop. I don't know. I also might want a lance. Hmm. I mainly was trying to get them to drop their bishops so I don't have to think too much. So much for that. But yeah, sorry I missed comments earlier. It's difficult for me to moderate the chat room while playing. Okay, so we'll attack the rook and attack a pawn. And hint at attacking the knight. But, um... Hmm. I just allowed a bishop drop in my camp. Both of us missed it. Bishop dropped there, and my gold was hanging. I've now corrected it, but um, that was pretty bad. That could have been pretty serious. Oh, should I Elmo Castle? I'm getting the sense that I should, since my king feels exposed. I don't know. We had a proverb at the beginning of the live stream that said the best defense is, is uh, attacking, or attack is the best defense. Um, and I don't think building Elmo makes me a whole lot more secure than I currently am. I don't see a way to shore this up, really. On the other hand, if the Rook does somehow get over here, that's a huge problem. So... I need to do something. I just don't see what I can do. Elmo might be fine. I don't know how to play with Elmo Castle, but we'll learn it as we go. Um, oh. Okay. Oh, that's cool. This horse sucks, let's move it back.
I would take this, except then they drop the bishop here, and the bishop escapes. It's going to be the recurring theme in this position for a while. Until I realize that I can just move the rook down to counter this forever. Uh, which I should have done instead of moving the horse, but I just couldn't find the idea. I needed to find it. I failed to... Yep. Nicely played. So they're getting a horse. I will live with this somehow. Uh, the one positive aspect of this bishop horse thing is that I'll finally know where the bishop's going to be dropped, and I'll be able to counter it. It's not much of a positive aspect, but it's not nothing. They might be considering this first upon drop. Hmm. If they do drop the pawn, do I just... No, that's crazy, right? Silver 5-5 five five and exchanging surely gets me hung. Hanged. Whatever. Um, yeah, we're gonna retreat. And, oh. Okay, they do this exchange. Um... Now they got this fork. Well, I'm not giving up the rook, so they can have that instead. Um. Hmm. They're Fugira. This could be pretty critical, because I can drop a lance and... Okay. Um... Wow. What a wild position. Um... I don't think I have mate. I'm not far, but I don't think I have. Oh, that's cool. My bishop covers this. Yeah, dropping the lance and dropping some pawns and other stuff is just... I don't see how they can possibly resist um, such a powerful attack.
holding this knight in hand has made things interesting for the opponent because they don't know where I'm dropping it. I could drop the knight anywhere. Um, but the straightforward plan is just attack down the left side of the board. And the opponent cannot resist because they don't have any pawns to drop. Go fun. That's kind of cool. Um. Hmm, what to do? Oh, okay, there's a simple answer here. Right. This looks difficult for them to survive. Uh, is that mate? Yeah, that's mate. Alright, let's do it. Tough game. Well played. Well, we only get to play three games per day. I hope that was exciting for everyone. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.